Hello everyone. My name is Amanda Waldhart and you are here with Amanda's InspirationStation.com. Thank you for joining me for this week's Weekly Wednesday. I have something special to share actually. Um, I started my Weekly Wednesdays in April two years ago back in 2020 and today hits two years and 200 videos. Yay! Um, that's a lot of videos to post. <laughs> um, I got to tell you, I love every minute of it. It was very scary two years ago to start a YouTube channel and to, um, you know, make videos. But now I love it and I hope you love my videos as well. So today is my 200th video in two years. So yay, I'm going to pat myself on the back. And if you are someone out there who has an accomplishment like that, you should pat yourself on the back as well. Okay. So today is April 19th and I have a super duper 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 cute projects for you today. Um, a few announcements, few little business things to go over. Um, and it ties in with the projects. So the project that I'm using, um, the bundle that I'm using today is What's Cooking. Sadly, I created, my whole April was going to be all about items that were leaving that were my favorite popular items. Um, this is leaving. It is not carrying over into our new catalog beginning May 3rd, which makes me cry. Um, this the peach stamp set, your peach, and the strawberry, sweet strawberry bundle with punch makes me, those three make me so sad. Um, so I made a really cute project today with this. Now there are dies still available. I'm not sure about the stamp set. I feel like I saw it, but I think it's in French. I'm not sure if it's in English. I'm not 100% sure. You can check on Amanda's InspirationStation.com. You can shop right there. Um, I highly recommend you waiting, though, until tomorrow. Um, tomorrow, for one day only, Stamping Up is offering free shipping. Now, $70 in product and under is a flat rate of $7.95. So that will save you $8 if your order is $70 or under. If your order is $70, um, $71 or more, then they do 11%. So it is really a big deal. Free shipping is a big deal. Um, so tomorrow, free shipping, one day only at Manda's Inspiration Station. And I also have that if you spend $35 with me tomorrow, um, or the rest of the week, but tomorrow especially because it's free shipping, <laughs> I will email you a free tutorial. It is a five-card tutorial, supply list, measurements, instructions, colored pictures of the stamp bundle called Flowering um, Rain Booths. I, I had it on my table, and then I went and I put it away. So here is the bundle. It's called Flowering Rain Booths. comes with dyes. I have a five card tutorial that I would love to give to you for free for spending $35 with me. So I'm going to set that aside. Don't forget tomorrow, free shipping. All right, today <laughs> I have a super cute little box with a little matching card. And this little box is so cute. And on the inside of it, it comes with a little Hostess mini bunt cake. Isn't that cute? It's so cute. It's like little and it's like perfect. And this box is fun and easy. And I cannot wait to share with you this box. So these are the little mini bunt cakes. They're made by Hostess. I found them at my local grocery store, Woodman's. I live in Janesville, Wisconsin. But I'm sure other places might have it like Target or Walmart or Myers. Um, maybe your grocery store festival, hy V. I I don't know all the <laughs> grocery stores out there, but check it. It's made by Hostess. Um, who knows? You might even be able to find it on Amazon. All right. So I, I love all the purples that we're going to do, but we are going to use a few items that are leaving us. So I want to share with you what those are. So one of the things that I used are these, um, heart and home doilies. So they, they're $5. They're great. They come in three colors. They come in cinnamon cider, basic gray, and then misty moonlight. However, when you flip them over, they're white. 
So we're going to be using the white side um, today. I do believe there's still some more of these left. Um, we're also going to be using this Highland Heather ribbon. This is also leaving. It's a gross grain ribbon and it's got sparkles in it. I love it. It's super pretty. Um, and I'm pretty sure there's that still available. Um, we're going to be using the white Baker's twine from the Baker's twine essential pack. This is staying. So this will be in our annual catalog. Um, again, the bundle leaving. And then we're also going to be using the tailor-made tags. Um, I have that for this one right here. However, that's staying too, so we're good. Um, Misty Moonlight ink pad we're using today um, right here. This is leaving. This is an in-color leaving, but the rest of the stuff we are is staying. But I wanted to share my favorite stuff. So we're going to get started. We're going to do the box first though because I've already um I've already done some die cutting and stamping for the cards since we're doing the exact same thing here. So I'm going to set this aside here and we're going to do the box first. So I decided to make my box crumb cake. This measures 7 by 7 and this is the base and then this is the top and this measures 5 and 3 16ths by five and three sixteenths, which is just shy of five and a fourth. Now, I want to say this. If you are watching my video on YouTube, underneath there is a link for a free printable project sheet. You don't have to stop this video if you don't want to to write down the measurements. Just click that link. It actually takes you straight to amandasinspirationstation.com. It'll take you to the post that I have this. You can click that project sheet. That project sheet has colored pictures of both projects, the supplies, and the measurements. Um, the video is actually your instructions, okay? So you don't have to panic about that. All right, so I'm going to bring a bit out my Simply Score tool. Oh, and one more thing. If you are not a YouTube subscriber to my channel, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button. Um, if you like the projects, I would love for you to click like. I would love for you to comment. I do read all of them. So for those of you who do comment, thank you so much. I, I love listening to your comments and hearing all your nice um, kind words. So, all right. So we're going to do the base of the box first, and it's seven by seven. You're, this 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 is a very, very easy box. We are going to go around on all four sides and score it at two inches. So I'm going to score on the two at two. I'm going to turn it. I'm going to score on the two. I'm going to turn it. I'm going to score on the two. And I'm going to turn it. And I'm going to score on the two. All four. Okay. Now... For the top, we're going to do the exact same thing, only we're not going to score it on the two. We're going to score it on the one. So we're going to score on the one. We're going to score, turn it, score on the one, turn it. Oops. Score on the one and turn it and score on the one. All right, we're done with the Simply Score tool. Probably my favorite tool. All right, so now we need some scissors because what we're going to do is we are going to take take one side you're not going to do all four so it doesn't matter if you do this side or this side it's a square but whatever side you choose you're going to cut on that score line up to your score line and I'm going to do a like a little dart this will help it so that when it folds in it helps to stay better so I like to do it right on the score line and then I like to just do it right next to it a little bit just to create that, that space, that dart. Now, we don't want to turn it this way and cut on this score line because you'll be cutting this off and you don't want to do that. So we're going to do the opposite side. You're just doing the opposite side. All right, so we're going to create a little dart and another little dart. Okay, and I'm going to cut that little piece off. All right, so we're going to do the same thing on this one. Doesn't matter which one you do, you're gonna cut on the score line up to the score line. Cut on the score line up to the score line. Now again, opposite side, we wanna do the opposite side. So we're gonna go score line on the score line 
and score line on the score line. Oops. Almost didn't create a little dart there. All right, so now we have our little darts. We have our ours cut. So I like to use the green glue. Um, it gives me a little bit of a chance to, a little wiggle room here. And I'm also going to get out my bone folder because I want to varnish in the creases. So I'm going to fold this back and varnish. Fold this back, varnish. I'm going to fold it on all sides here and I'm going to varnish and fold it on all four sides and varnish. Just like that, okay? Now what we're gonna do is we have all, we have three flaps, three flaps. We're gonna take the two end pieces like this and basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring them in like this. We're gonna attach them and then we're literally just gonna bring up the sides. There's our box. How easy is that? Super fun, super easy. So what we're gonna do is I am going to, on the ends here, I'm going to not go over the whole thing. I'm just going to go over a little bit like this. And I'm literally going to bring that in like this. I'm going to hold it for a second. Now, if you wanted to use tear and tape, by all means, you could do that. We're going to do the same thing on this side. We're just doing a little bit. Th this part doesn't really matter. I mean, if you were to get it on. But with us, with the sides here, now you can just go ahead and use your green glue all the way like this. Or your tear and tape, you could do strips of it. And then I'm just going to bring this up like this. I'm going to hold it for a few seconds just to kind of get it there. And there's the base of our box. So cute. Now, of course, if we have a box with a treat... We gotta put a little bunt cake in there because that's the whole point of this. So cute, I love it. Okay, now we're gonna do the same thing for the top, but before we do the top, I want you to notice, do you see how I have a ribbon around here? Now, if I were to have tied the ribbon around the whole box, A, I'd be using more ribbon, which would be fine, um, but I didn't have a whole lot, so I didn't wanna do that. And I also wanted it to be where it was tucked under my my like little utensils. I didn't want it to be where they always had to take the ribbon off to lift up the lid. So if you notice the sides, there's no ribbon here. How did I get that ribbon there? So there's ribbon on this here. So what I did is I took an X-Acto knife and I have a mat underneath here, um, which I use all the time and I love it. However, I have also this mat that I got from the Dollar Tree. Um, this is wonderful, especially if you like travel and craft a lot. This is just nice to have. So I'm going to place this right underneath here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create two little slits. Now I wanna make sure, oops, I just dropped my ruler. Hold on, so sorry. And then I barely can pick it up for Pete's sakes. Okay, so what I wanna do is I wanna make sure that I have it even though. So I'm going to get out this little guy here and I'm going to place this right in the corner here. Well, it doesn't really matter. I just, I just need it like that. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm going to go up to the two and a half. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna line my ruler up to the two and a half here. And what I'm gonna do, that way I know I'm starting in the same spot. So when I go through with my ribbon, my ribbon will be in the same spot. And actually, you know what? I think I'm gonna go up to the two and three fourths because I feel like that would be a little bit bigger. So I'm gonna go right on the score line and I'm just gonna take my X-Acto knife and I'm going to, I feel like this isn't very sharp, but I'm just creating a little slit here and I'm just doing it on the score line. All right, now I'm just gonna kind of pop that out, kind of brush off any little extra pieces. Now this one didn't fully go through, but I have my line. So move your fingers. Don't make sure your fingers aren't in there. 
Um, I'm going to tell you right now, my X-Acto knife is, I think, not sharp. So I'm just going to remove that. But that's okay because we're going to cover it up. All right, so now I have that. I'm going to put my lid back on that, though, so I don't hurt myself. All right. So now we're going to flip this over. We still want to put our box together, so we still want to do our varnishing. And any little extra little frayed pieces like that, you can just remove. All right. We're going to do that. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing with this, right? So basically what we're going to do is we want to put some glue on each flap here. And I want to bring this in and bring this up. And I'm just going to give it a little pinch for a second to hold it in place. Okay, we're going to do the same thing on this side. We're just going to put a little glue on each little tab here. We're going to give it a little pinch like that. All right, so while that's drying, I'm going to get out some ribbon. And I'm going to, I kind of want a lot of ribbon. So what I'm going to do, I want to poke it through on one side. So I'm going to put it inside like this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my poker tool and I'm going to poke it through like that. Okay. So I want, this is where my bow is going to be. So this is not enough on this side to tie a bow. So I need to, I want to tie a big fun bow. Okay. So I'm going to make sure that I have enough on here to tie a big fun bow. Okay. Then I need to wrap this around like this and make sure I still have enough. So this, this looks good. I don't really, I don't really measure. I just kind of eyeball it like that, but I need to tuck this now on the inside because we're going to pop it back through. So again, through the inside and on the out. So now it's running through the inside and going on the out. Now, before we do this bow, we have it ran through. Now we need to put our designer series paper down. Okay. We need to, now we need to decorate it a little bit. So I have this designer series paper. It's crumb cake. It's from the neutral six by six paper stack. Um, these are carrying over. Obviously, we have them. We have them every year. I shouldn't say obviously. Um, we have them every year, but the patterns change. So I'm just going to place this in the center like that. Okay. Now I have a couple elements here, and we're going to also do a couple elements. But these ones here, we need to put down first, these two items, before we tie our ribbon. So I took one of those little doilies, and I actually cut it into um, four. So I cut it in half, and then cut it in half again. And I'm just going to use this little piece up in the corner. So I'm just going to place this up in the corner like that. And then I've already ran this through. This is um, soft suede. I've already ran it through the What's Cooking dies. And then we're going to place that over top like this, just flat. So I'm going to do that. And actually, I'm going to, there we go. I was kind of, I moved it, made it kind of crooked. All right, so I'm going to go like that. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do this. The rest of the stuff we're going to um, stamp and die cut together, but we're going to do it, um, it'll rest on top of this ribbon. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie a bow with this ribbon. All right. And then I'm going to get out my big Mickey ears here. I'm not the best bow maker, but I do feel like I've gotten a lot better over the years. All right, so we're gonna go like this. I like having the big fun bow. There we go. I just wanna make sure I'm tying it tight. There we go. All right, so now I'm going to just trim it off a little bit. I am gonna trim it. There we go. All right, and if you want, if you don't like your bow so big, you don't have to have your bow so big. I do kind of feel like my bow's a little big, but that's all right, I kind of like it. 
Bows are fun. All right, but I do, I am gonna trim it just a little bit. Ooh, there we go. Okay, enough with the bow. <laughs> or I'll be futzing around with it for a while. <laughs> okay, so, this, so now we're gonna do some stamping. So we have to stamp our bowl. Um, by the way, this little stitched heart is from the Give It A Whirl um, dies. So I have already done that. So I'm gonna kind of set that right there. This again is from the Taylor Made Tags. I've already done that. And so we have a spoon we have to stamp and die cut out. We have a spatula we have to die stamp and die cut out. And I've already die cut it out the little whisk. So we are going to, on Highland Heather, we're gonna use Gorgeous Grape on Highland Heather. So we're doing a little bit darker um, of ink over the cardstock. So we're not doing tone on tone, we're actually making it darker. Although I think maybe I did use Highland Heather on that, now that I think about it. You know what? Hmm, that does seem a little too dark, doesn't it? I know that I used Highland Heather for the bowl, so I thought I used a little bit darker, but let's let's test this out. Let's get out the bowl. So I have Highland Heather ink pad, and we're going to stamp on Fresh Freesia. Yep, I did Highland. I did skip the Gorgeous Grape. I did not do Gorgeous Grape. I did just use Highland Heather. Yep, there we go. All right, see? Sometimes when I pull my product out before I do these videos, I th I think, but you know, if only I go back and I look at the project sheet that I typed up for you guys. <laughs> I type those project sheets up right after I make these. So I know they're right when I do that, but you know, it happens. All right, so we need our dies. We need the spoon, the spatula, and the bowl. So let's get those out. I love these dies. Oh, you know, these dies would be so cute if you like to make cookbooks. I love making little scrapbook cookbooks. You know, with favorite recipes, give them to your, you know, family members. These dies would be perfect in those. Okay, so we're going to get out. I'm going to move these so that I don't lose them. I'm just going to kind of set them over here. I'm going to bring out my cut and emboss machine. So I'm going to do that. And to make sure that my stuff does not slide around, I'm going to get out a little washi tape here. And we're going to... Washi tape that. Clearly, I'm not very prepared today. All right, so we're gonna do a little washi tape and some washi tape. Now, with some exciting news if you haven't heard. Um, and I do have this on our old magnetic plate because it does work um, through our cut and emboss machine. However, in the new catalog, we will have a thinner magnetic plate, and I'm super excited to try that out and see what that's about. Um, I can't wait. I can't wait. All right, so I'm going to just set these aside over here because I have my dies on there. All right. Oh, and then you guys, I cut out the dark one instead of the light one. Oh, look. No, I didn't. Look at that. Wow. Wow. Did I really stamp that that perfect on both sides that when I die cut it out, I can use both? Whoa, how did that happen? That I don't know. That's crazy. Okay, so let's bring back our little box. That is crazy. Hmm. Okay. And we're going to, I feel like my box is a little, my lid's a little big for this one. Okay, so anyway, let's carry on. We're going to add this all up now and put it all, let's see, add it all. When I say add, I'm not meaning like add and minus. Let's see here. So I have a spatula. I have, um, I have a spatula, I have a whisk, I have a spoon, I have a heart, and I have a bowl, and then I have the tag. Perfect. Okay, so now we need to stamp the little tag here. 
And we're going to do that in Memento, and it's going to say for you. Although I feel like I should, I should do it in, I probably should have done it in the Misty Moonlight, but I didn't. Okay, so let's put a little mini dimensional on the back of this. And we're going to pop that right there off to the side of our bowl. And then I'm going to pop up the bowl. So I'm going to put that up. But with these, I'm not. I'm just going to use glue dots with these. And I'm going to place them because I'm using, and the reason why I'm using glue dots, let me say why I'm using glue dots. Because they're going to go over the ribbon. So I want to make sure that they stay so I'm going to angle it like that. I'm going to put that right. I'm going to bring that down a little bit. And actually, I'm going to add another little glue dot underneath there like that. And then I'm going to add my bowl. Perfect. And then I'm going to use this baker's twine. And I'm going to attach it around my bow. Let's see here. I think I'm going to double that. So I'm going to make it in half like that. And so if I put the two ends together and I put the loop through, now I'm going to take my two ends and I'm going to put them in the center of my loop so that I'm kind of making like a tag now. And then I'm going to tie this around my ribbon. So I'm going to tuck this under my ribbon. And I may need my poker tool to get that under. Because I have these fat fingers that sometimes just don't want to work. All right. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> okay. So now I have that around. And now I'm just going to tie that. And I'm going to also tie that in a bow, like, like so. All right, there we go. Look at that, you guys. I love this little box. It's so cute. My bow is a lot bigger, but it is so cute. Okay, so let's set that aside. All right, so for the sake of the video, we don't have to recut out um, these because I've already done that since we... I just showed you how to do that. So I already stamped and did that. So now we'll just put our card together. Okay, so this card is going to measure at four and a quarter by 11, and you're gonna score it at five and a half. So I have already scored it. I'm gonna use my bone folder because we're gonna have the card open this way. Now, we have three pieces of designer series paper because I decided on the inside to use designer series paper and use the second to largest scallop die from the scalloped contour dies. And that's where um, you're going to find that on the center. So I have three different patterns here. So I have this one for the front and then I have these two for the inside. So I'm going to just go ahead. These all measure at four by five and a fourth. So we're just going to place those on the inside. So cute. I love it. And I'm going to do something that I did not do in my original card, but I think I'm going to go back and I'm going to do. Um, I really do like the inside to have something stamped in it. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp something. What should I stamp? Um, should I do purple or should I do the wooden spoon? Let's do purple. Let's do purple. Maybe, maybe even the bowl. Should I do the bowl in the corner? No, let's just do the spatula. So I'm just going to kind of put the spatula like that. And then that way, I just, sometimes I just, let's see if I like that. Yeah, and then I can have my sentiment in there. I do kind of like that. So let's do that. Now, I did not, <laughs> I did not pop that up. I thought I did for some reason, but we're just going to center that in there. And voila, that's the inside. Okay, so that's the inside of the card. So now let's place this 
We're going to place this flat to the front of the card. Now this time we're going to use a whole doily. I'm going to use a whole doily, but before I even attach that, I am going to, I want this to go over top of this. So what we're going to do is we're going to stamp the same, sending you a dash of kindness and a spoonful of love. And I'm going to put that in the Misty Moonlight. Now, I don't want it to be too close. I want to bring it in a little bit because I'm going to put that thick ribbon right there. So we will adhere this and we'll go right up to the edge here like that. Then we can adhere this like so. Then we have our cutting board. I love cutting boards. Cutting boards, I, I probably, I have a lot of wood cutting boards here at my house. Um, I love them. I love charcuterie boards. I love putting, when I have friends over, I love to put food on my cutting boards and that's how I serve it. So yeah. It's the end thing now too. So uh, I feel like everybody likes to do it. Well, maybe not everybody. I shouldn't speak for everybody, but a lot of people. It's like the cool thing. It's like a new in thing. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use my glue dots again to put those in. And then we have our spoon. And then we're going to use dimensionals on the back of the bowl. And our card is almost done. We just have to do, oh, you guys, that's so cute. All right, so I have a bow maker because for these kind of bows, I need a bow maker. And yeah, I do still have some of this ribbon left. So I have a video. It's one of my very first videos I ever did. Well, not first, but it's in the beginning. If you scroll down, I do have a video on how to use this, but I will quickly show you. So you wrap the ribbon in the back and you bring it forward like this. Whatever one you cross, I'm gonna cross this one over the top. So if I cross this over the top, now I want to bring it underneath and through the pegs. So whatever top, one is on the top, you wanna to bring it underneath and through the pegs. Now it's on this side. So now I'm just gonna bring it over through the pegs like this. And then I'm literally just going to tie a knot like this. Now I wanna make sure that I'm tying my knot very tightly um, because if you don't, it will kind of unravel. And I do want my ends to be shorter with this. So there's my bow and we're going to place that like that because see how that's kind of um, overhanging my card. I don't want really want it to overhang my card. All right. It's like cutting hair. You ever cut your bangs before and you just can't get it straight. So you just keep cutting and keep cutting and keep cutting. And now you don't have <laughs> any hair left. I'm like that with my bow right now. All right, so I'm just gonna put a little mini glue dot. And because this ribbon is thicker, um, I'm going to secure it with a couple mini glue dots. I'm gonna secure the little um, bottom pieces of the bow as well, just cause it's thicker and I wanna make sure that it stays on. Okay, you guys, look at how cute are these? Let's get all this stuff out of your way. What a cute little gift. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, sorry, I feel like that was a very long video. I usually don't feel like I do these long videos, um, but sometimes you just have to. This is so cute. Don't forget about free shipping tomorrow. That's huge. All right, you guys have a, and don't forget if you spend 35 with me, you also get a free five card tutorial. Okay, you guys have a great rest of your week. Have a great weekend and I will talk to you next week on Wednesday. Bye!